Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT. Done. I'm like the explosive one. Let's start the drama. Dude. Um, so, I, I'm sure you probably heard about this, but mm. there was a... Uh, James Webb Telescope? Yeah. It's good. <laughs> it's pretty cool. There was a guy who tried to shoot up a Indiana mall. Oh, you hear yeah, about that? yeah, I did. Uh, briefly, not a whole so, lot. So guy decides he's going to mass shoot them all, right? Which, I mean, it's kind of like shooting fish in a barrel at the food court. Like, it's just Jonas, a bunch of... Jesus Christ, man. No, I mean, like, that. <laughs> if you go to, like, a food court, it's just a big open area with people, right? That's why the guy picked it, I bet. <laughs> what? I don't know. It was just like, I don't know. Hey, I, <laughs> that was the way you went about it. I mean, it's I fine. Didn't mean, sorry for, for my uncouthness. I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> Like, you figure shooting them all up's got to be pretty easy, right? <laughs> but, I mean, that that's what he, I'm sure that's why he did it, right? And then, so, there was this 22-year-old dude who had a concealed carry, mm -hmm. shot that mother effer dead. He only got, I think he only ended up killing, like, three people or something. Like, I was like, yeah. the amount of people that <laughs> only, guy saved. Only. Well, right, compared to how many he could have killed. I mean, that's fair. That is fair. Good guy with a gun stopped a bad guy with a gun, Jonas. This guy's a 22-year-old guy. You see a picture of this dude? Yeah, he's a dork. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a hero dork, but a dork nonetheless. I, like, this doesn't seem like the type of guy mm -mm. that's, like, ready to pop off to kill someone. I mean, He look. seems like the type of guy who's like, I'm going to learn how to shoot, and I'm going to get a concealed carry in case anything ever pops off around me, I'm going to be able to take care of people. And, like, that's like he's just been, like... Yeah, he's been waiting for this moment, practicing in his garage... Freeze, criminal scum. <laughs> Just, Freeze, mass murderer. I'm going to get you. And then he, but dude, he did it. it I mean, I, honestly, Jonas, look, um, I would like to say that if a situation ever popped off like that and I had a gun that I, I have what it takes to do that, I don't know because I've never had to. Right. But I feel like if I were put into a situation where it's me or you, it's always going to be me before it's you. Right. You know right. I mean? No, no, no. I feel you. And I was actually listening to another radio show and they were talking about this. And, and the guy, the host, has a concealed carry. And they're like, they, the other people on the show were saying to him, like, this is what you wait for. You have a concealed carry. Like, you, would, you wouldn't. He's like, I would. No, no, no. And he's like, what do you mean? He's like, I would run away. Yeah. He goes, I have the gun. Like, say I ducked into a bathroom and the guy came in the bathroom after me. I have a gun. I can protect myself. But I'm not going to stand there in the middle of all this going on and try to shoot a moving target with an automatic gun. Like, the chances of me being automatic? accurate enough to hit oh, him he... <laughs> against him just wailing bullets at me. Yeah, he had an automatic gun. A killer had Yeah, yeah. Is that what he had? Yeah, he had an AR-15. Okay. And uh, Semi-automatic, most likely. Anything, yeah, I think he had some other guns, too. He was like, yeah, I don't conceal carry to be able to save the world. I use it to protect myself. If I got in a situation where I needed protection, but I'm not going to be the hero. Dude, I don't. he's like, I don't want to be a hero. And I feel like that's what I would do. Like, unless the only way I would probably do it is if I knew I was a really good shot. Like, I was like... I'm accurate as hell. If you had been practicing. Right. Like, if you know, some people are just natural marksmen, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you can shoot a gun very well. If I go to the range and I'm hitting 90% of my shots in the bullseye, <laughs> like, you need to I, sign I up be, for the Olympics if you're right, doing right. that. Right. I would be more apt <laughs> to do it. But, like, no, man. That's the. It plus the stress of that situation, right? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, anyone can shoot well when you're at the range and there's nothing shooting at you. It's a lot different when you're in a live action, yeah. active or, scenario. Or if you have, like, you know, one of those lined up shots where it's like, I can't miss from here. Like, he doesn't know I'm here. His back's turned. Right. He's got, right. The, he's got the lady pointing the gun at her and I can just like. Bah. Right. Or if, yeah, you're behind him. He's doing whatever. And you can like get a clear shot at his back or whatever. <laughs> Even still, that's like, that's some tension right there, man. Oh yeah! If you if you're a dude who's trying to shoot up a place and you hear someone shoot a gun at you, that's where you're going next. Like if he doesn't hit you, your attention is going right to the person that has a gun yeah, because they're yeah. the only threat you have in that environment. Yeah. But dude, I was just like, that's it's really awesome to hear a story that, you know, I'm not I'm not a gun person. I don't even own a gun. But it's nice to ha see hear a story about like, oh, this guy tried to murder a bunch of people and he's crazy and someone stepped in and stopped him. And it took a gun to do it, right? <laughs> so it's one of those things where like, you know, certain certain groups are going to jump on it like, yeah, you see that the gun came out and he saved the day. Well, <laughs> the gun was the problem. <laughs> First right, right. If the other guy didn't have the gun, the other guy wouldn't <laughs> have needed the gun. Yeah. yeah. And you know what else I thought of immediately? America problems. 
That's definitely an American problem. Yeah, because like, no, it was an American problem when you said I think he only killed three people, and I was like, "Are you only three? Yeah, okay. Yeah, and it may have been more <laughs> than that, but it, it wasn't as many as like some other. Which is just, it wasn't as many. <laughs> it's just nuts that you have a comparison problem. You see that? Oh yeah, it's it's nuts that we have so many freaking gun violence issues here that like yeah, mm. only three is a is a statement. Oh, they only got mm. three. Mm-hmm. They only injured nineteen, and only one. Di- You're like, oh my god, dude! Like How- I said, man, there's a there's a victim of gun violence like every three seconds in this country. Yeah, yeah. Like, there is it- actually, I think I have it. I, I was looking for it previously on another episode, and I couldn't find it. Yeah, and it, I think I either think way, I- it's 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 super high. And other countries where they have like one incident with guns that happen like a year or in a couple months, because it does happen. Like we just had the issue over in, in Japan. Right, where their um, their their ex prime minister was killed, yeah, and that was like the first time they've had any gun issues. Quotation fingers, because that thing was a goddamn sandblaster that he put a bullet in or something. I don't right, know. right. So actually, this is this is what I, I found a website. That it's a gun violence archive, and they and they track all mass shootings, which a mass shooting in the U.S. I think is considered at least four people shot. Sure. Um, and it, so then basically there was, there's already been three today. Already been three today. Yeah. Uh, like one killed, four injured, one killed, six injured, zero killed, four injured. There actually was not one yesterday. One on the 21st, 19th, 18th, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on the 17th. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. One, two, three, was four, that a, was five, that a weekend? Six, uh, yeah, it must be six on the 16th. And then none on the 5th, 14th, 14th, 13th. So it's like, dude, almost every single day, someone is out there shooting at least four people. Whether they, and it's that's, not if that's they kill four. Yeah, that's just an incident involving four people. But right. I, I'd say, like, there's seriously, like, gun violence. Like, mm, it, yeah, well, I mean, that, but if I shot you, that wouldn't be on this list, right? Like, exactly. So if that many or, like, where someone's injuring four people or more or whatever, that's effing on a, on nuts. On a daily basis, man. And it's hot out. It's nice out. Yeah. So, Jones, how, how do you feel? Do you think that you should have a gun to protect yourself? No, I'm not getting a gun. Well, I mean, oh, do I think like in general about guns? Yeah. Do you think a person should have a gun to protect themselves? Uh, I feel that people should can do whatever they want. Okay. I if think- you want a gun and you can legally obtain the gun, and here's the thing, like these other guys who have done mass shootings and they legally obtain the gun, what what is there really to say about that other than that person's messed up, right? <laughs> like they're, they're like, uh, well, why don't you dig into that person's history? And I'm like, because this is America where we don't do that type of stuff. Right, I don't know. right. Okay. Like it's it's yeah, it's there's many people who do this and get the guns illegally. That's obvious. They're people, if they find out how they got them, those people should pay too because they're illegally selling guns. That, but the like majority it, of the guns used for these mass these mass shootings are illegally acquired, though. Right, but it seems like more and more the the newer, bigger ones that have coming out, the, the people have got them legally, or or someone got it legally that's for them. Or, that's why I say the majority of the ones for these mass shootings are the guns are obtained legally. Oh, I thought you said illegally. No, no, illegally. yeah, right, dude. And it's like if, if that's what's happening. It, what what can you really say? Like so they how can and you got say the, that? How can you say that in one breath and then say that everybody should own a gun? Everybody that can legally obtain a gun. But on the same note, that's right. That's the that's the paradox, right? No, but that's the symptom of the of the issue or the yeah, issue of the but, symptom. But also, with that said, how many people are obte- are legally obtaining guns that aren't doing this? It's less than one percent. It's it's a very small percentage yes, of people. Absolutely, the loud the loud minority is what they call that. Right. It's like the very 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 small minority. Like there's a very small amount of people. Yeah, but who are out here shooting up things, right? That, all it takes is for them to do something, and then it's an issue. And I mean, honestly, yes, you have a bad, you have a single bad player, and you know. <laughs> and uh, yeah, dude, I I feel you. It's it, 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 did you. <laughs> this was remind me, uh, Kid Cudi walked off a stage at Rolling Loud, a uh, big concert festival that they have. Oh, did he? I didn't hear yeah. about this. Um, so apparently Kanye West was supposed to uh, headline, and he dropped out at like uh, like a week or two before it was supposed to happen. Oh, Kid- I think I heard about Kanye, yeah. And then Kid Cudi, you know, he took up the reins. He was going to do the show, and they're not really on good terms no, right now. No, no. Yeah, I, I saw Cud- Cudi and said, I'm never working with him again. So once you see, like, the tweets and stuff that uh, Cudi has made about, I don't F with Kanye, and then you have him headline a Kanye show, 
people weren't too pleased. Oh, did he get booed? And so they started throwing stuff at Kid Cudi. Oh, wow. He got hit in the face with a cup. And he said, if one more thing comes on this stage, I'm effing leaving. Went to a rant that lasted maybe like 30 seconds. If one more thing comes on this effing stage, I'm out of here. And one more cup came up there and hit him like on brushed his ankle. He walked the hell off Dude. stage. So one bad actor will get it ruined for the rest of you motherfuckers. I mean, that's why laws exist. Because because there are people out there who do dumb ish. That's I mean, why there's a, that don't eat this silicone in this bacon bits. Uh, yeah, <laughs> don't shoot your gun at other people and kill them. Yeah, don't Let's make po- that. Don't a law. point a gun at anything you aren't intended to kill. Yeah, we should make that a law. Right. Anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Go to thecrazetown.com. Uh, for Jonas TNT. Oh, we out.